technique we talk about is how get off when someone grabbing the first technique, right? Like this. So someone grabbing you, so your hand can from under, like really get off from that way. And you can grab him back, and you can attack, and they go grab him back. You can push down, and you go boom. You can twist this way, and grab him again, and you go attack, and they grabbing you, and you can push, and cross, and punch, grabbing, punch, grabbing, grabbing, push, and push, and together, and you can attack. So you can with your partner to play like this way with this technique, get off, attack. You can really using your elbow to practice. So let's go to the next one. The second basic for the Leopard Kung Fu is a powerful strike and the hit to the neck. So if someone attacks you, you can attack their face and then second, hit their chest. So for close combat, if someone is planning to attack you, you can hit them like this. But if they're farther away, you can just extend your arm to hit their head. The second move, when you hit someone to the chest, it's always good to use it after you use the first move. This move is also meant for close combat. So if you hit somebody, you can always use this right after, and you can do it multiple times. But you just keep going, and it'll be a hit to the chest. Even if this move is meant for close combat, if someone is farther away from you, you can still extend your arm and hit them in the face with this part of your hand that is very strong. <laughs> So this is uh, the third technique we're gonna talk about for the leopard kung fu. So this is a great technique. So you both hand tight as a protection move, both side protect your face, and you can attack back by the strike. So you, go, you say you my both hand just attach uh, to my head sideways, right? So no matter it's how strong to strike me, I'm saved. Other side, right? You just uh, twist this way, right? As uh, soon you get this. I'm grabbing by this hand, and this hand, twist, yeah, strike, just by middle of the head. And definitely, we win the game. Tutorial step by step, Leopard Kung Fu, lesson five. Let's go. Let's start the last move from lesson four. Quick stand up, your right hand to make a circle as blocking, you step your right, and step your right, your left hand under your right, and go, attack, same time you step your left, and both hands, go up, and push down, same time, stay low stance. This basics, one hand up, one hand down, and they go each other under, and they are switching. So this move is more for when someone grabbing you. If someone grabbing you up or bottom side, so you can really to get away, and which the way you go attack. Let's start the movement number one until further. One, two, three. After this one, we do elbow attacking. Your right hand from back, the more go back, you have more power, and you twist. That's the move. And after that, we gotta have another elbow attack. Let's talk about these two moves, the elbows. It's very short distance, it's very useful. This is more for short distance. If someone close to you, your elbow, you can't really hit front of a face or anywhere like this if the descent go far and this can turn to a punch right the same thing for the second level this way is more people are close to you so you go attack by this way 
If the distance become longer, you can is turn become strike the side like this. So this is a great technique for two elbows. So more coming, follow me now. One, two, three, four, six. After you both hand cross and you step to your left side. Can be either side, and two, an elbow for both side, more attacks towards to the left. This is a great combo with the elbow before you strike. This should be have four move all together to use by together with a short distance. It's very useful and short, powerful. So see this, the elbow one, you go attack right this way, and elbow two. And straight four, and that is a great combo with a short distance. Also, you can extend the us the long distance. Be flexible. Let's start the movement number one until further. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. After that, your right hand above. Your left, go to left side of your head, and you twist your hand to protect your head. Twist all the way back, and twist back again from top and attack. This is another great movement. So after the elbow, put your right hand on top your left, and turn to protect, to protect your waist. So this is the first move, one and two. So after one and two, and twist from top and strike forward. This move is for protection and attack. That's a great move. One, two, three. One, two, three. Let's go from the movement number one until further. One, two, three. After that, your left hand go above your head to protect, and your right hand go low, 45 down to attack. Everyone knows the leopard has great speed. Also, the leopard have a very strong the claw. So this movement is not attack the upper part. It's go down to the joint with your strong. Claw to attack the weakest joint, which is to go to this part. Do you know this point is very weak? Once your hand to go attack with your power, with your power, does go to hit the weak spot, to hit the weak spot, to last balance. Let's go from the first movement until the end. What? It's a floor kick. As we mentioned, we use the leopard claw to attack the weak spot, and people lost balance. That's the chance. We're gonna shoot a floor kick. Your head go down first, lie down sideways, kick the face. Let's follow me one last time. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine. That's all for today. The leopard kung fu lesson five. Follow those steps, and guarantee you can get good technique, good kung fu from my lesson. If you have any question about today's lesson, please leave your comment down below. I see you in next video. Thank you very much. I love you all, and bye bye.